well, it's Sunday, the 4th of September, and I'm here in London. I'm just by Trafalgar Square here, and I am here to see a show tonight at the Chair and Cross Theatre on the Strand called Elegies for Punks, Angels and Raging Queens. I've just checked into my hotel at the Hub by Premier Inn, and I'm now going for a little walk. I have a few things to do, but I am going to try and take you along with me as best I can. Hope you enjoy! Oh my god you guys, I'm in my hotel room at the Hub. I've got the Hub app for staying here and I can actually change the brightness of the lights in here. So if you see I've got it on like as high as it bright it'll go. But watch this. I'm in darkness! Oh my god, this is crazy! Nighttime lights, apparently. This is night lights. And then this is full light. Oh my god, that's really, really bright. Just from controlling it on the app. What does this one do? Oh, I can have reading light. And it goes, oh, super dark. And then I've got like a little reading light above my bed. Just by tapping that. And then if I tap this one, the reading light goes out. And the lights over there come on as well, like two lights. So I can have two reading lights if I really want. This is awesome. So turn that one off, turn that one off. And then let's have the midi lights on. Ah. No, I don't want reading lights. Bright lights. Yeah. Let's have the midi lighting on for now. And then I can also change the temperature as well. There's a temperature thing on here. So at the minute it's on 21 degrees. So at the minute it's on 21 degrees. But I can turn the fan higher if I want. I can lower the temperature or I can make it go even higher. So I can warm up this room a little bit. I can also change the fan settings. Um, but yeah, that's pretty awesome. What's A mean? Auto. Yeah, I'll put it on auto for now. Um, 23 degrees, that'll do me. But yeah, this is totally cool. I'm just going to unpack my stuff now. Unpack my um, duvet. And yeah, I'm going to get ready to go out because I'm here. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Oh guys, with my best friend Elsa. Elsa, what do you think of the star? It doesn't bother her. Just like the cold. Um, I'm just wandering around and like, oh my god, they get the cuteness of all the little baby things. I'm in the mood to buy some Simpsons. I need that one in my life. That is a disgust Simpson. I need it. Look at Donald, he's angry! Oh my god, I need it. How much is that Simpson? Is it disgust? Oh no, it's the Incredible Hulk. My bad, I thought that was disgust from inside out and it's the Incredible Hulk. Oops. <laughs> He's a beast. And I've got Philippe as well. Hello, Philippe. Who does not love Gerald? Gerald's awesome. Gerald. Gerald is also 
if you love him that much. Found Pascal. <laughs> that was me going to the Disney store. Um, showing you a little bit of what was in there. I, I think last time you saw me I was at the theatre cafe. Didn't really spend a lot of time there because it was really busy and I just couldn't film and I couldn't enjoy my milkshake or anything. I got served by a guy in the theatre cafe who had a face like a smack bum and I just felt like I wasn't very welcome to be honest. He was like, ugh. It, it, well, he didn't go, ugh, but his attitude was like, what do you want? I'm like, chocolate milkshake please, because I've heard so much about these milkshakes and I've seen these pictures of these freak shapes that they make and it just wasn't that good. So now I'm off to Ed's diner to go claim my free birthday milkshake and I might have some pancakes because I'm a little bit hungry but I'm not hungry enough for a meal. So yeah, heading over there now. I've also done some damage in Topshop to my bank account, so that's all fun and games. Things always taste much better when they're free. I'm here at Ed's Diner and I've got my free Oreo milkshake as usual because Oreo milkshakes are the best here and I know that's my second milkshake this afternoon, I'm so bad. I've just ordered some really nice food, it'll be coming soon and I can't wait. I can't wait, I'm getting more and more excited for this show I'm seeing tonight because I can't even describe it as a play or as a musical because it's none of those things, it's something else and yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> to my vlog. Hello vlog! <laughs> well guys I'm back at my hotel room now after watching Elegies for Angels, Punks and Raging Queens at the Charing Cross Theatre and I really went through something incredible. It was kind of, it, it wasn't amazing. I think amazing is the wrong word for a piece like that but it Gave, put me on a journey and what it's all about is different monologues of people who have AIDS or who have died from AIDS. It's like what would they say after they've died about their death and about their life and some stories were very sad, some were joyful, some people they didn't want help at all and they knew exactly what was going to happen to them and they didn't care and it was interspersed with monologues and songs and all the cast were brilliant. There was some children because it was from the British Theatre Academy I think had put it on and I'd gone to see it because Harry Francis was in it along with Georgie Ashford and Gemma Craven who did Hairspray but I never saw her in Hairspray. Anton Stevens from The X Factor also sang in this production show tonight and it was all just like really really good <laughs> um i didn't cry until the very last monologue when there was a guy talking about how his partner held him and encouraged him to stop fighting as in but not give in but to let it go and i just burst into tears because his partner his partner was like stood behind him holding on to his shoulders rubbing his shoulders and yeah and it just made me think about my nursing journey that I'm about to undertake and the sort of nurse I want to be um because they did talk about their treatments and their um time in hospital and the treatment that they got from friends and family and support and I really want to make a difference in 
in my own little world within nursing. I know I'm not going to go out there and change the world. But I'll be happy just to have a job either in a hospital ward or district nursing or palliative care and chipping away and doing my little bit to make sure that everyone gets the best care that they can from me. And this play show tonight just reaffirmed a few things for me and it's made me think about how I can improve myself and make myself better and I just wanted to say thanks to Harry for doing this show because it wouldn't be something I'd ordinarily jump at but I thought he's agreed to do it so it must have something about it and yeah it was, I know he was really tired I spoke to him before the show and he was knackered but I'm really glad he chose to do it and I'm glad that Georgie did it as well, like Georgie was really good in her little monologue. Um, so yeah, that's kind of my little review of it. It was only a one night thing so I can't say go and catch it because it's not going to be there. But if you ever hear of Elegies for Angels, Punks and Raging Queens anywhere, be it amateur or professional, Go and see it because it will open your eyes to a whole new world. So yeah, that's my little review, I guess. I'm about to go dunk my head under that very nice looking shower um, and wash my hair. And then I'm going to go to bed because I'm tired. I'm really, really pooped. And I've also got some strawberries to eat. I've got a peppermint tea because in this hotel here at the hub you get free tea and coffee so that's really nice I've got a nice peppermint tea to have. Morning guys it's Monday the 5th of September and I am just packing up and getting ready to leave I'm gonna have some breakfast here first down in the deli bar that they have but then yeah I need to go and get my train because it's now 9.38 um, my train leaves at 11.21, so just had a gonna chill really until I have to go. I've really enjoyed this hotel and this night stay. I've had the best night's sleep ever. The bed was so comfortable and the pillows were well supporting me. It's like my bed at home started to give me starting to give me a bad back, but coming away and sleeping on hotel beds and stuff, I don't seem to have that problem when I wake up of feeling like I've got a painful back. So, yay for Pre Hub by Premier Inn and the shower last night was amazing. I had a shower last night, which is why my hair looks a bit crazy today and it was fantastic. Like, I tried both shower heads <laughs> and yeah, it's so nice to stay in such a nice little boutique hotel that's like right in the centre of London and stuff. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to try and come stay here again, depending on if I can get a cheap rate room. Um but really enjoyed it and I will probably end the vlog here so thank you for watching hope you have enjoyed it I know it's not been as good because I've been on my own and I've forgotten to film or whatever but hello um, so give this video a like comment down below subscribe and I will see you next time guys bye